one turn of a single car to be worth one million dollars. From Campbell, California, it's Million Dollar Shots. And now, here's your host, the star of Million Dollar Sharks, Alex Turner. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. You guys never fail. Thank you. Thank you so much, audience, and welcome to yes. the season finale of Million Dollar Sharks. This is the game where one turn of a single card could make you a millionaire. We had a terrific season. We gave away million, uh, over a million dollars in cash to lucky contestants, and maybe we can end the season off on a high note by giving away a million dollars to one of these two contestants tonight. But before we introduce our contestants, let's open up the board and get to the card. And as you can see, Lawrence will be Yay. playing the red player, and we're going to have a contestant named Patrick who will be playing the blue cards. And here they are, Lawrence McNeil and Patrick Murphy. Welcome, gentlemen. Hey, Alex. How you doing? I'm doing Hello. good, Pat. Lawrence McNeil, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm 25. Uh, I work part-time at a thrift store, and uh, I love game shows. Just like all of us here. Glad to have you here, Lawrence. Pat Murphy from Reno, Nevada. Thank you. Yes, sir. How you doing tonight? Great. How are you? I'm great. Just like all of us here. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Pat. I am 29 years old. I am originally from Vallejo, California, now residing in Reno, Nevada. I work for a gas station, and I'm also a trivia host for a national trivia company where we have affiliates in over 30 states. Wow. And I also run my own Discord server and... I've applied for 13 game shows, almost got on one this year, but didn't make the cut. So hopefully next year we'll be lucky 14. Hey, you never know. I wanted to try to get on Card Sharks, but I never heard a reply back from Fremantle. But hey, maybe in the I've, future. I've applied for Card Sharks twice. I almost got on in the first season. I almost got uh, into my, the second season. My best friend, Christian Dixie, was on Wheel of Fortune last year. He won almost $66,000. Well, congratulations to Christian. You guys ready to play? Let's go. Let's get, let's get it on. All right. Everybody knows how to play Million Dollar Sharks. Lawrence, you won the coin toss backstage, so you get the first question. Mm, okay. We <laughs> asked 100 ex-convicts, have you ever been homesick from prison? How many ex-convicts said yes? <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> <laughs> ex-convicts oh boy this is well this is surely getting spooky and dark but anyways uh i'll go with a pretty reasonable number uh 61 61 out of 100 ex-convicts say they've been homesick from prison pat i as as lauren said this is a great way to start off the season finale with a question like this I don't think it's going to be, the number is going to be that high. I'm going to say that's going to be just a little bit lower. I feel like that some ex-convicts want to get back on their feet and want to avoid going back to prison. If you do the crime, you do the time. If it is lower, mm -hmm. you get to play the cards. The actual number of ex-convicts said they've been homesick from prison is 19. It's a lot lower, actually. Not just a little bit lower. It's a lot lower. Wow. Pat, let's see your opening base cards of four. I like to keep it. I like to go higher, please. We're going to go higher. An ace. Lower. Lower. A jack. Lower. Lower than a jack. An oh, eight. Freeze. One card to win the first game of the match. I want to remind everybody that we played a best two out of three match. And the winner of this match will receive $6,000. And we'll use that $6,000 to hopefully convert that into a million dollars. Now we're going to go to Pat's first question, which is question number two. We asked, what are the garbage men? Did you find jewelry in someone's trash? How many garbage men said yes, they found jewelry in someone's trash? I would I would say that's probably a middle number due to some houses probably being cleaned out and uh, things being left behind. So I'm going to say that's somewhere in the middle. I'm, I'm going to go with 43. 43? Yeah, 43. Okay, I, just, I heard some uh, feedback earlier. All right, 43 out of 100 garbage men said that they found jewelry in someone's trash. Lawrence, higher or lower? Yeah, if, you're that, if you're that damn desperate, then go to, well, I don't know where the hell. But anyways, uh, <laughs> let's go yeah, a little bit higher. 
Let's go a little bit higher. The actual number of garbage men said they found jewelry in someone's trash is... 61, it is higher, wow. Lawrence. Wow. Good job. <laughs> All right, Lawrence, let's see your opening card. It's a six. Oh, uh, boy. Change it. It's now a four. Higher. Higher, a seven. Gosh, higher. He's taking a risk. It's a ten. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Lower. Another chance. Oh, it's an eight. No. Go back to your Lower. four and... Patrick has a chance to win the first game. I'm going to go lower. For the first game of the match, lower. It's a three. He won the first game of the match. So Pat needs one more game to play the big money card, so Lawrence is a make or break for you. Let's deal out the cards mm -hmm. for game number two, and Lawrence will get the first question of game number two. Lawrence, we asked 100 dentists, have you ever drilled the wrong tooth by accident? How many dentists said yes, they drilled the wrong tooth by accident? Well, that's an unfortunate Ouch. way, to, yeah, and that's an unfortunate uh, record on your career. Uh, uh, let's go slap that in the middle. Fifty. Fifty out of hundred does say they drilled the wrong tooth by accident. Pat, I feel like with dentists, they've had plenty of years of experience. Um, and they know what they're doing, so I'm going to go lower. I feel like that's going to be much lower. The actual number of dentists say that they drilled a wrong tooth by accident is half that, 25. Oh, wow. Well, geez, half wow. or half. <laughs> Not all dentists are well-educated, and that is the truth, including Howard <laughs> Schneider. Let's see your opening card, Patrick. It's a six. Alex, change that card, please. Patrick, please deal with the queen. Lovely. Lower, please. Lower. A seven. I'm going to take a chance and go higher. Going higher with the odds. No, you should have gone lower. Oh. A six. <laughs> Lawrence gets a free shot of his cards You're and you okay. can't change it. It's a nine. No, Faye. <sighs> higher. Higher. Against the odds. No, oh, six. Wow, All right. We're going to go to question number two and this will belong to Pat. Pat, we asked 100 married women, have you cried at your own wedding? How many married women said yes, they cried at their own wedding? I will say I feel like that's going to be a high number because it's a very special day for them. They're getting married to the love of their life. So I'm going to say 74. 74 out of 100 married women said they cried at their own wedding. Lawrence. Uh, I would say higher. Nah. You're because, say it's higher. because it's a very sentimental, emotional event. So... Yeah. It is. They've been with the love of their life for many, many years. And yeah. the actual answer is 21. It's actually lower. Oh, higher. Well did. Wow. Okay. Now that's that's a fun. surprise. Patrick, you have that Lies. queen. I want to keep it. I want to go lower. Lower. A nine. Lower. Lower. No. A queen. Oh. Wow. All right, Lawrence. Here is your free chance. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh god, let's lower this time. Lower, lower. this time. No, oh, a king! Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> now see I went higher last time and oh hey, it was some I, bad, bad, bad man. Bad. <laughs> hey, stuff happens. Lawrence, we asked one her single woman in France. Have you ever gone topless on a beach? How many said yes? <laughs> Oh gosh, um, we need to top of the anyways. Uh, let's go with uh, 45. 45 out of 100 45. Single, 100 single women said that they've gone topless. Pat, I'm not sure how open they are about public nudity, but I'm actually gonna say that number is gonna be slightly higher. You're gonna say it's slightly I higher. Like I feel like that their restrictions might be more eased up than here in the States. Well, yeah. Yeah. every country's different. Here's the actual answer. Computer, 78. It's a lot higher. It's popular Brand in Pat France, Pat apparently. Patrick, what are you going to do with that Lower. queen? Come on. Lower. Of course. Oh. No! How oh long are we going to be here, folks? These cars are... The 
Yeah, these cars are haunted, I tell They're you. They're rigged. Oh, gosh. Are I you happy, afraid. Logan? I feel like it's nine. Lower. <laughs> I'm not even I'm not even gonna look at the computer. I'm just gonna let the sound effect play for itself. Oh good. Hey. Finally. Good. Great. Now we have a credit card. Anyways, uh higher. Higher. Oh Dang. <laughs> Let's just get to sudden death. Somebody's got to win this on a play of the cards. Pat, this goes to you. We asked 100 Australian women, have you ever been robbed or held up on the streets? How many Australian women said yes, they have? Oh, that's that's tricky one, considering it's Australia we're, we're dealing with. Yes. I'm going to go with 33. 33 out of 100 Australian women said that they've been robbed or held up on the streets. Lawrence. I'll say a little higher. A little higher. The actual number of Australian women say they've been robbed or held up on the streets is... It's five. Wow. It's not wow. higher. It's lower. So, Pat, here oh, is the boy. situation. You have that queen. You can play that queen or you can pass control to Lawrence. You both need four cards to win. But either one of you make the mistake, you will win the game. Do you want to play or pass control? In my case... If I win this game, I win the match. I'm passing. All right. One mistake, Lawrence, and Patrick wins the match. Oh, well, either way, GG. But uh, let's go against the odds and go higher. Well, it was a good game irregardless. Regardless of what the outcome is, for a higher than a nine, a king. Oh. I might have, have a reasonable chance now. Lower, I well, hope. Lower than the king, a queen. Lower. Lower. A deuce. Oh, for a tie game. It's a three. We're going to a tiebreaker match. There's still hope. There is still hope, Lawrence. There is still hope. In a tiebreaker, only three cards will be dealt out and three oh questions, and we're going to get to the tiebreaker match after we take time out for this. Welcome back to the season finale, Million Dollar Sharks. We're going to a tiebreaker match, as you can see. Three cards have been dealt out, and Lawrence is going to get the first question of the tiebreaker. Yay. We asked, what are teenage children of psychologists? Are they allowed to watch as much TV as they want? How many teenage children of psychologists said, yes, they are allowed to watch as much TV as they want? Hmm, psychologists. Hi, Faye, a touchy, touchy, touchy uh, yeah, category. Um, yeah. Let's go with 60, 62. 62 out of 100 teenagers of psychologists say they can watch as much TV as they want. Pat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go. The number has to be lower. The number has to be lower. I feel like with said. psychologists, uh, they care, they really care about their kids' education a little bit more heavier, so they don't want to really influence too much on that. So I'm going to go lower. Education is mm -hmm. important to the mind. Here's the actual answer. It's 59, a little bit lower. Wow. wow. I wow. agree. Ooh. Let's see your opening card. It's a nine. Change Boy. that card. Changing it to a ten. Not a better change. Lower. Lower than that 10 of deuce. Higher. For $6,000. No! Another two. Lawrence, here's a free shot. An ace! Oh my. Lower. Lower an eight. Hey, hey, let's, uh, let's freeze. He wants to play it safe. He doesn't want to lose those oh cards. Oh my god. Patrick Man. gets the next question. <laughs> We asked 100 people in Plains, Georgia. Has a tourist taken your picture? How many people in Plains, Georgia said yes, a tourist took their picture? Thing is, one of the biggest tourist cities in Georgia is Atlanta. I'm not sure how far that is uh, from Plainstown. I am going to say that, I'm going to say 47. 47 out of 100 people in Plains, Georgia say that a uh, tourist took their own picture. Lawrence. Uh, I would say a little bit higher the actual number of people in plains georgia say a tour is taking their picture is 41 Ooh, by six that's wow. lower patrick all right you have that 10 <laughs> change that card changing that card to a seven oh, even man. worse change higher 
with the odds higher a queen. For six thousand dollars, a three, and that wins the game at six thousand dollars. Good game, Lawrence. Yeah. All right, congratulations, Pat Murphy, for winning the game. How does it feel winning six thousand dollars? Uh, Lawrence gave me a, really gave me a run to for me to win the game. So he's a great great champion. He was a great contestant. Everybody was a great contestant on this season of Million Dollar mm-hmm. Shark. So I like to thank every single one of you for participating in season one of Million Dollar Sharks. We loved having you here, and hopefully we get not only new faces here for Season 2 coming summer of 2022, but returning contestants as well. All right, Pat, did you cut the cards? Yes, I did. All right, let's open up the board and get to the cards. Yeah. Let's go, Pat Tar. All right, Pat Tar. That's his nickname, by the way. Your $6,000, you're going to be using that $6,000 by making high-low wages, by predicting whether the next card is higher or lower than the one that precedes it. You start on the bottom row with your $6,000, three cards on the bottom line. We move up to the next level, we give another $14,500 and three more cards. Your minimum bets are $500, and you bet in $500 increments until you get to the big bet where you can either A, bet at least half your dollars, or you could stop and cash out your winnings. And I do want to okay. remind you, if you decide to change your card at the big bet and you still don't like it, you can still cash out. Do you have a question? Okay. No, I'm ready to go. I want to end this season with a million bucks. Let's go over two million. Yes. Well, we, we're, the only top prize is a million dollars. But let's give away two million dollars. Here's a six thousand dollars. Let's end this season off with a high note. A queen. Ooh. I want to take two thousand dollars. Go lower. Two thousand mm. dollars lower than the queen. It's a nine. Eight thousand dollars and a nine. Change that card, please. It's now an ace. Oh, All of yes. it lower. Of course, a four. Sixteen thousand dollars and a four. Five thousand dollars higher. Five thousand dollars higher than the four. A seven. Twenty-one thousand dollars. We can move that seven. Give you another fourteen five. Thirty-five thousand five hundred dollars. What do you want to do with that seven? Change that card, please. It's now a king. All of it lower. Everything lower than the old. And I do want to remind you, if another king pops up, you don't lose anything. Lower. A jack. $71,000 and a jack. $20,000 lower. That's a good size bet there on a jack. $20,000 lower and eight. $91,000 and an eight. $9,000 higher. <laughs> That's a big bet, and you're going against the odds. Higher. No, a four. Okay. $82,000. We move the four up to the big bet. Do you want it? Yes. Do you want to stop or go on? I want to go for it. Now, you must bet at least $41,000. You can bet more. You have $82,000 and a four. What's your big bet here? My worry here is that we haven't seen any threes or deuces. $68,000 higher wow. for 150 grand. This is for $150,000. This will be a nice payday to end the season. Higher. It's a 10 $150,000 yeah. for Pat Murphy. Good job, Pat. $150,000 is yours. Thank you for turning the cards. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes season one of Million Dollar Sharks. I want to thank everybody including our 25 staff for a terrific season we will be back next summer with new cards new money and new contestants right here on million dollar sharks please don't forget to spay and move your sharks goodbye everybody Your announcer Brandon Scruggs speaking for Million Dollar Shop, a Paris Production Group presentation.